Getting started for. Configure and run a simulation. In this video, we'll review some of the key simulation settings in at risk and then proceed to run a simulation. To configure your simulation, click on the settings icon in the at risk ribbon. This opens the simulation settings window, where you can customize various settings to tailor your simulation. One key setting is the number of iterations. This setting determines how many random scenarios or combinations of inputs at risk will generate. Typically, more iterations lead to more accurate results, but they also demand more computing time. You can select the number of iterations from the drop down menu or enter a specific quantity. There's also the automatic option, which runs the simulation until at risk output cells converge within a set tolerance and confidence level. In the at risk industrial version, you can enable the use of multiple CPUs during the simulation as well as allocate a specific number of CPUs for the simulation to use. For this model, we will run 5000 iterations and disable multiple CPU simulations. Under the View tab, you'll find options to tailor the display during and after the simulation. These options can be helpful if you wish to streamline the simulation process. Additionally, the sampling tab contains advanced settings for controlling input distribution generation and data collection during the simulation. Once your settings are configured, it's time to run the simulation. Simply click the simulate button. A progress indicator window will appear displaying the number of completed iterations, expected runtime, and current calculation speed. You'll also have a real-time histogram of the currently selected at-risk output displayed in a pop-up window. From the progress window, you can pause or stop the simulation and adjust display settings, such as disabling the results window update to speed up the simulation. After the simulation is completed, it's time to explore the results. If no result window is visible, select one of the outputs you wish to analyze and click on the Browse Results button from the Results section of the At Risk ribbon. The Browse Results window opens, revealing a histogram of all recorded outcomes during the simulation, along with calculated statistics. You can easily obtain values for specific percentiles or find the percentiles that match specific values. For example, you can determine the 5th percentile or the 95th percentile of your data. Adjust the vertical bar or type values to explore other percentiles or specific output values. The right-click menu offers additional functionality, including the option to copy the graph to the clipboard. Now, we encourage you to explore the software's capabilities further, and remember that more detailed functionality will be covered in subsequent videos.